Hello everyone, welcome to Amos' Premier Elements Tutorials. For this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the earthquake effect in Premier Elements. Let's get this tutorial started. So, to demonstrate this earthquake tutorial, I'm going to be using a picture of the Earth, and I already have it loaded up in my timeline, so let's jump right into this. So, you want to go down to the Effects tab and search Earthquake. Oops. Earthquake. So, let's take this and drag it to the clip. And you see here how it says Opacity, Opacity on the clip. Let's click on it and switch it to Earthquake Magnitude and set a keyframe at the very beginning. So, if we come up here to the Apply Effects tab, you'll see that there's a slider bar under the earthquake. And it goes from 0 to 100. Now, this slider bar lets you adjust the magnitude of the earthquake. For example, if we set the magnitude to 10, which is pretty low, and play the clip, you'll see that the earth isn't shaking that much. But if we go back and set the magnitude to, say, 80, and then play it. As you can see, it's shaking a lot more. So that's essentially the earthquake effect. But if you're not completely satisfied, there is a workaround. So let's go back down to the effects tab, and instead of searching earthquake, we're going to search old film. Oops. Old film, and let's take the first one and drag it to the clip. And once again, let's switch uh, this thing to old film jitter and set a keyframe at the beginning. Now, since we're only using this effect for the jitter effect, let's negate the color effect and the damage effect. So now it looks like the original again. And essentially this jitter effect is just like the earthquake effect. Like, uh, one is relatively low on the slider bar, and if we play it, it's not jittering that much. You, may, you might not even notice how it's jittering. But if we go back and set it all the way to 10, it shakes a lot more. So, these are the two ways that you can get the earthquake effect in Premiere Elements, either by using the actual earthquake effect or using old film, which is sort of a workaround. Thanks for watching Amos's Premiere Elements tutorials, and if you found this video helpful, then make sure you drop a like. Have fun editing!